In the world of sports, some games bask in the spotlight, celebrated and revered. But beyond this glare, there's a different kind of battle. And it's not everybody can do it. Not everybody wants to put themselves through it. Not everybody can sacrifice the things that we sacrifice. Oh, toughness. Tough, yes. A different level yes. of toughness, yes. a different level, a level of competitiveness. They are going at it, honestly. It's all about strength, really. Um, I think they're kind of weird. They're loud. This is the realm of wrestling. Here, athletes engage in primal ballet. Every move tests strength, every grip challenges endurance, and every movement on the mat is a testament to resilience. Because wrestling has no glory. Like the people that get into wrestling, they do it because it's the pursuit. It's guys who excel in wrestling, they, there's a, a mindset that they have that's uh, it's so interesting to be around them because, they're, they're, because they are that calm, they right. have that that m there's a there's a level that they've reached that very few human beings outside of wrestlers ever reach. In this world, the tools are simple. A map, two competitors, a battle of tactics and endurance. It's here that profound human dramas unfold, where athletes compete not just against each other, but against their own limits. Rooted in ancient sands, Its story begins thousands of years ago, etched into cave walls and ancient scrolls. In ancient Egypt, wrestlers grappled in pharaoh's courts. The Greeks elevated it to an art form, making it a cornerstone of the Olympic Games. From the Roman Empire to the Mongolians, wrestling transcended borders, becoming a universal language of combat and competition. It was just not a test of physical might, but a strategic dance, a display of discipline and technique. For the wrestlers of India, to the sumo rings of Japan, it became a mirror reflecting diverse human cultures and values. In modern times, wrestling continues to evolve, but its core remains the same. I'm Ron Baker. I'm the head wrestling coach at Canyon High School. I've been here for 12 years, but I've been coaching for 30 years. High cross to a single, that's three. I've been in wrestling since the age of 13, so that would equivalent to about 52 years. And when, I'm, when I'm at the edge of the mat, when the matches start, um, I'm always thinking about, did I teach this kid the right kind of moves to be able to win the match? It's, it's, if you ask my son what wrestling means to, to me, he'll say it's my life. I just like the, the idea of competing against somebody one-on-one, -on -one, um, not being afraid to do things that you don't normally do and challenging yourself and challenging kids every day. All right, let me tell you about Max, the guy making this documentary. My journey began later in life. He's a hard-nosed, straight-laced kid that works his tail off. And anything that he does, it's not easy in being a wrestler because of the discipline that it takes. From just two wins in my first year to standing on a podium now, every match has been a lesson in humility and growth. I've built like four different programs from scratch. It wasn't easy because the district did not want wrestling. The football coaches did not want wrestling. The football team could come and walk by after their practices and see what we're doing in there. And they're looking at each other going like, do you see what I see? Do you see what they're doing in there? Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that. And it's not everybody can do it. Not everybody wants to put themselves through it. Not everybody can sacrifice the things that we sacrifice. Wrestling is more than a sport. It's a legacy as shaped warriors and champions. Wrestlers have the strongest brains because the strongest minds, the strongest determination because that sport is so brutal. I'm gonna be the champion one day. <laughs> <laughs> Injuries and fatigue are a part of the game. You like, you fall on it? So like, I like had him, and I was like, bring my arm in, and like, it stopped on the mat, and he just rolled over on top of it. I offered my fingers, like, oh, posting these three, but 
How do you feel? Yeah, that hurts. I'm pretty damn bad. Sometimes the girls have to wrestle the boys. It's a bit harder because most of them are a few weight classes up and they're a lot stronger, but it pushes you more. My name is Sine Burden. I'm a junior, 17 years old. I've been wrestling for two and a half years. Freshman year, I was a second place district and a regional qualifier. And my sophomore year, I was second place district, regional qualifier, and state qualifier. Let's see it. Yeah, let's see it. I want to see it. Double. There you go. Oh, climb. Get the half. Or the... Uh, wrestling um, gives me something to do outside of school, outside of home. Um, it gives me something to work for, and it also gives me a second family to go to. To me, wrestling is just something that like fills in part of my life. It's something that I've engraved myself into, and it's what I look forward to in every day. Right, let's see, I want to see it. Let's go, London. I want to see it too. The challenges I've faced is as a female in a male sport. A lot of the times I don't get as much respect as the other team captains would. A three minute period. Okay, do another one. That's pretty much a big, big challenge for me. It's literally like 501. Want one, let's go. Women in power. Wrestling, the other sport, is where we write our own stories of struggle, triumph, and resilience. On this map, we're not just athletes. We're warriors of the mind and body, crafting a legacy that transcends the spotlight to reach. And being able to manipulate bodies, but they also have mental toughness that's at a level that I don't think you get from any other sport. Now this is wrestling, where every challenge face is a step in our own journey of greatness.